Welcome to the Micrometal blog. I'm Abby Stancato, and today I'm going to teach you how to use an air duct calculator. No, not a duck calculator, but an air duct calculator. This handy little device allows you to size a new duct and better understand what to expect from existing duct work. Additionally, you can estimate air loss, find the round or rectangular duct equivalent, and determine velocity. It can prevent some very costly errors and is great for engineers as well as field technicians. Think of water traveling through a hose. You can get much more water through a 3 inch diameter fireman's hose than a small garden hose. The more water you try to push through, the faster and further the water comes out of the hose. Air is very similar. You can only push so much air through any given space before problems arise. Too much air causes leakage, resistance, also known as static pressure, and high velocity or airspeed. Here comes the air duct calculator to save the day. That's really weird. Let's say you have an air duct that's 10 inches by 10 inches. How much air will it take? Just align the two numbers at the bottom and all your answers appear. Looking to the duct diameter section, this number illustrates your 10 by 10 square duct is equivalent to an 11 inch round duct. Look up to the air quantity window. Here you'll see how much air can go through the duct and how much resistance the air will encounter. Inside the window is a display of your air quantity in CFM. Below that is the friction loss also referred to as static pressure based upon 100 feet of duct. Similar to water, the more resistance you encounter, the more energy required. To move 200 CFM of air through your duct, according to the calculator, you will encounter only 16 hundredths of an inch of friction loss, very little resistance. Therefore, if you start with 200 CFM from your air source and force the air down 100 feet of duct, you will hypothetically have about the same amount of air on the other end depending upon obstacles. However, try pushing 2000 CFM through that same area and you'll encounter much greater resistance, about 1.2 inches of static pressure or friction resistance. The result is greater air loss due to a higher resistance and higher energy cost from your air source. Lastly, check out the velocity window. Again, as with water, Think about your garden hose. When you want the water to travel further, you adjust the nozzle. As you turn the nozzle, you're making the opening smaller, increasing the speed of the water, also called velocity. You're not increasing the quantity of water, only the speed. As you increase the velocity, you are actually reducing the amount or volume of water. Same with air. At your 200 CFM range, as you can see by our air duct calculator, we're moving the air through our duct at a little more than 300 cubic feet of air per minute. Go back to the 2000 CFM and you're just over 3000 cubic feet per minute. Too much air noise, duct leakage, just too much bad dimension. Let's use a quick design example. Let's say you have a 3 ton unit. Each ton of air is equal to 400 CFM according to most standards. Therefore, your 3 ton RTU is pushing 1200 CFM. Let's assume you want your duct to introduce no more friction than a half inch of static pressure, or 0.5 on our friction loss chart. Align the 0.05 at the bottom to an air quantity of 1200 CFM. Looking over to the duct diameter window, you're instructed to use a 17 inch round duct. Now, most available duct sizes will force you to round up to a more industry standard size. In this case, an 18 inch round duct is best for your design. Look to the bottom to select the rectangular duct size, which works best in your application. Notice here, 10 aligns to 25. Additionally, 12 aligns to the number 20. Therefore, use either a 10 by 25 or 12 by 20 inch rectangular duct design and you'll get the same basic results. As an added bonus, turn over the calculator to discover equations and more information about friction loss. Every turn and angle in your duct design comes at a cost. This reference information allows you to quickly calculate the resistance of each scenario. Please consult your sales rep or Micrometal's customer service department for cost and availability on our Micrometal air duct calculators or any other further questions concerning usage. 
That's it for today. See you again soon.